Hi Bobcats, it's Miss Lee, and we're going to continue talking about uh, angles by introducing some special angle relationships, some special angle properties that will help you find missing angle measurements. You need your foldable. We have a foldable of uh, special angles. You're going to need that to help you fill so you can fill it out as we go through the video. If you don't have it, you definitely need to be taking notes. Okay, the first special relationship is what we call adjacent angles. Okay, these are adjacent angles. They are two angles that are side by side. They have a common vertex and ray. They may or may not be congruent. All right, so it tells us that angle ACB and angle ACD are adjacent. So this is angle ACB and then angle ACD, ACD is right here. So you can tell they both share this ray AC. And then the common vertex they have is where C is at. These are adjacent. Basically adjacent angles are those that are side by side. The examples down here, these are adjacent angles. They share the common ray right here and the common vertex. Okay, these two, A and B, these are not adjacent. They don't, they share a common vertex, yes, but they don't share a common ray. They don't have any sides, they're not side by side. And this one right here, although they have a common side, they share this side. The vertex for A is right here and B's vertex is down here. They don't share a common vertex, so those are not adjacent. Okay, so pretty much what adjacent angles are, are angles that are side by side. They have the same ray and they share, they share ray and they share the vertex. Complementary angles. These are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. When adjacent to each other, they form a right angle. So this is example of complementary angles. We have angle WXY and angle YWX. They're next to each other, they're adjacent. And when you add up their angle measures, it equals 90 degrees. 65 plus 25 is 90 degrees. Okay, these are some examples of complementary angles. We have 30 degrees, we have this X. We could find X by just subtracting 30 from 90, and we would get 60 degrees. Because they're adjacent, they make a right angle, they have to add up to 90. Here's two more. There's another one. Hint. Complementary starts with a C, so here's your C, and you could draw a line to make a 9 for 90. Complementary starts with a C, and you can turn it into a 9 for 90. That's a hint if you need to remember the degree of complementary angles. Then we have supplementary angles, and these are two angles whose measures have a sum of 180 degrees. When adjacent to each other, they form a straight line. Very important, they form a straight line. They add up to 180 degrees. Okay, the S for supplementary, you could draw one line and it turns into an eight for 180. I also think about it as the P's. Complementary has one P, that's 90 degrees. Supplementary has two P's, so that's 90 plus 90 for 180 degrees. A couple of different ways. It does get confusing. Complementary, oh, was that the 90 degree or the two that add up to 180? It does get confusing. These are just a couple of hints to help you remember which is which, or you could come up with your own. Okay, we can use the complementary and supplementary angle properties to help find missing angle measures. So the first thing you need to do is look at what you have. We know one angle is 118 degrees, we want to find the other angle. It's not a triangle, so it's not like we're, we've got two angles that we can add together. But look at what type of angles they are. They are adjacent, they're next to each other. So if you put them together, what do they make? Do they make a right angle, is it perpendicular, or do they make a line? They make a straight line, a straight angle. That means they add up to 180 degrees. 
So we can find the measure of x by just subtracting 118. We do that and we get 72. So x is 72 degrees. Again, add up the 72 to 118. It's going to give you 180. Okay, what about these two angles? They are adjacent. One is 58, one is unknown. Because they are adjacent, look at that. It's perpendicular, isn't it? And it's got the little square. That tells us that these are complementary because they will add up to 90 degrees. So we can find the measure of x by subtracting 58 from 90. And we get 32 degrees. So x is 32 degrees. You can check yourself by adding them back up. 32 plus 58 should equal 90. Now the next example is a little bit different. It's a little bit different. It's a triangle and then there's a line. It's like this bottom ray just kind of extended and we want to find the angle in. We know all three angle measures of our triangle. It's the end that we need to find. Well, look at where n is sitting. It's sitting next to, it's adjacent to, the 67. So these two angles are adjacent. And if you put them together, what type of angle do they make? They make a straight angle or a straight line, which measures 180 degrees. So all we have to do to find n is subtract the 67 from 180, and we get 113 degrees. It's not so bad, is it? 